I have only known Carol since 2017, but she made such a dramatic impact on my life and gave me so much hope in a time where I was really hopeless. And I think that even though I didn't let it out and I didn't make it like known what I was going through, she somehow sensed it. And we would always be together whenever we studied. I'll tell you this. We studied voice acting together, and um, I had broken my spine. I was a set designer, a set painter when I was in my 20s, and I had broken my spine on set, and it had been a lengthy legal battle, and I had suffered so much in painting by myself, and then finally I was able to walk again. I got surgery and everything, and I was like, oh no, what do I do now? I've only known that for ever since I was a teenager. This is my whole, like, I, since I was 13, that's all I've ever done is work in the theater and do music, so what do I do now? <gasps> Maybe I could be a voice actor. I have a friend who's a voice actor. Maybe I could do it. So I start taking classes. Because you can't get injured in a padded cell, okay? So it was a little harder to get injured that way. So I thought that would be a good idea. So I start taking these classes at the voice caster and I meet Carol. And we end up just hitting it off and every single week that we could get in, because sometimes it was uh, filled up quickly, but almost every week for like over a year, I think it was like, a, it was a bit longer than a year, we would sit next to each other in class and we would just always like help each other. We tried to be in every scene together and she was such a loving presence and she was so kind and I think she could always sense that there was this, there was this, this sadness that was going on inside me and she always found a way to make me laugh and she always found a way to cheer everybody in class up every single time. Even if she didn't seem like she meant to, I think she meant to. And she was so charismatic Mm. And she made you feel so at ease when you were around her and so comfortable and so accepted. And she was such a good actress. And yet she was so humble that she would always be like, oh, it was terrible. And I'd be like, are you fucking crazy? That was great. We loved it. It was incredible. And she was like, I didn't like it. And I was like, no, no, it was really good. She was so humble and she would never complain. And she would always just, she was just so compassionate and uplifted everyone around her. And it was so wonderful to see. And spending time with her was so great. And every night when she would go to take her Uber home, I would wait with her because it was dark out, okay? And I'm not gonna let some random car pick her up, so I wanna make sure it's her Uber. So we'd sit out there and we would just talk about life, the universe, and everything. We'd go and get coffee together sometimes, and we had a, um, a monthly thing where we would call each other and be like, check, we would check in. And uh, yeah, and uh, so the thing she did for me, besides being a wonderful person and being kind to me and showing me compassion and love in a time where I really needed it, uh, uh, was that uh, she, one, one day I get a call, I start taking classes at this other place, The Voice Masters with Mimi Maynard and Paulette Lifton, and I start taking classes there, and Carol goes, hey, she calls me, I saw, you're taking classes with Mimi, right? And I go, yeah, she goes, I know Mimi. I've known Mimi, I've directed Mimi. And I went, really? You were a director? And she goes, of course. And I was like, what? And she was telling me, she's like, yeah, yeah, we did that, I did that, yeah. And I was like, that is so cool. I never knew that, you never said anything. And so she goes, okay, well keep taking the classes with me. And I said, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, okay. And so, cool. And so I was like, that's so cool. And so then one day, I get a call from Mimi Maynard. And she goes, Mia. Carol Reese right now and thank her and then she hung up on me and, and, I, and I'm used to this and I love it and I went all right I don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna call Carol Reese and I'm going to thank her and so I called Carol and I went Carol thank you and she went for what and I went I don't know Mimi Maynard just told me that I have to call you and what Mimi Maynard says I do so I'm calling you and I'm saying thank you and she went okay well you're welcome then and I went all right great thank you so much and later and it turned out that I had been cast in my, for after years of trying to be in voiceover, starting a new, you know, uh, path in life, because Carol called Mimi Maynard and said, hey, that Mia is in your class. You've got to pay attention to her. She's a good person and she's a great actress. Please pay attention to her. Which I was like, that's what she's, I was touched. I was like, oh my God, I've been trying for years. And it was because of Carol telling Mimi to give me a chance that I got a chance and that I got to do something that I love so much and I was given a new start to life after I thought I'd lost it. So I had Car uh, Carol just, she's just an amazing person and um, she helps so many. So I'm grateful for her every day. She's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs>